Hello everyone, it's Varun here. I'm going to start with the Lunge dashboard installation guide. First of all, uh, for the plugin installation, we need uh, Lunge LMS installed here. And uh, WooCommerce integration is not mandatory, but you can also uh, use it if you are planning to sell with the WooCommerce. The plugin also required one more plugin, Advanced Custom Field, which is a free plugin from the WordPress repo. You can download and install it. If you are using a pro version, that will also work. Pro version is not mandatory. After the ACF uh, get installed, you can upload the Land Dash dashboard plugin and activate it. Okay, first the uh, initial configuration of the plugin. Uh, inside the Land Dash dashboard, we have uh, following options. It comes with a general page like a dashboard where you are getting all the summary details. Uh, what exactly you are displaying for your instructor, your admin and your student along with the group leader okay first of all uh, we have a couple of features which can be disabled and enabled easily like announcement feature email integration where instructor can send mail to the students zoom integration where admin or the instructor can create a zoom meeting and share or embed in their courses on the lessons along with the monetization where instructor can create their courses and uh, sell them via woocommerce and uh, we can also have a commission distribution for those instructors who are selling with the WooCommerce or LearnDash. For the dashboard wizard, which is displaying on the front page of the dashboard, you can enable those uh, component easily uh, one by one. Like uh, first is the uh, statistics styles where you can enable them or disable them easily. Like all these uh, groups can be disabled easily in one click from this option course progress like uh, these reports for the students uh, will be displayed for the administrator instructor and the group leader and you can disable this complete report for the course progress here course completion rate and the top courses and the course detail these reports can be disabled easily from here like course progress student detail we can also have a one popular course uh, section like uh, one of which one course is popular uh, in your segment and that can be decided based on the tag or the favorite tag for the course completion chart like uh, that can be displayed for the administrator and the instructor you can also include group leader if we need that top course chart that is based on the number of student you have in the website uh, for that particular course for the general setting we also have a configuration where you can disable the instructor to publish course where they can create them but uh, they will be as a pending course unless the admin is going to approve them you can also allow instructor to create the course tags uh, by default they can only select the available tags or um, use the existing categories so you can also allow them to create the course tags become an instructor button will be vi visible for the all the student if uh, you want to display uh, hide them then you can easily hide them okay for the number of student like uh, how many it's for the page ignition purpose like when you are displaying a particular report on the page then you can control how many student report is going to be displayed for one page ignition for the user author like if you are using buddy press or the buddy boss you can uh, synchronize that one with the buddy boss so whatever you are selecting on the buddy boss or the buddy press section the same user will be displayed on your dashboard for the profile override couple of uh, customers do not want like dashboard also have their profile section which is using the woocommerce field they still uh, keep on to use the buddy press or the buddy boss profile editing functionalities then you can redact them on the profile editing for the corresponding buddy press or the buddy boss profile editing section okay for the popular course tag we have a wizard for the popular course and you can select which tag you want to use as a focus tag for those courses to display uh, the popular course and uh, you can also enable this wizard only for the student or the group leader it's completely your call for the welcome message which is displaying on the dashboard top screen uh, you can also put a disc uh, message there you can also change this cover image and this setting is here you can upload a new cover image whatever you are looking for for the single instructor course grid when we are displaying all the courses for a particular instructor we can also control how the instructor getting listed on this those sections so we have a instructor page where we are displaying all the instructor and on the instructor individual instructor page we have a list of all their courses so how many 
courses will be displayed in one column um, or one row that can be managed from here for those course grid uh, you can also enable and disable the progress bar and the course content can be displayed or not okay for the page mapping these pages uh, will automatically create it when um, the plugin is activated my dashboard page instructor registration page and the instructor if you do not want to uh, use the instructor registration form you can use gravity form and uh, select the role mapping for that one like any form uh, where you can create a user and then select the user role to which uh, you want to assign after the registration or the form submission is done okay these are the basic configuration what we have inside the learn dash dashboard uh, for the just after the activation okay now we are jumping to the more detailed view like how you can customize the look and feel of the your dashboard first is the design part where you, you have a color combination option this uh, default is these options and if you want to use a custom one then you just have to select which color you want to use and that will be reflected on the primary dashboard okay um, i'm just uh, making quick changes there save changes so for the dashboard color combination you can put a background link color and everything can be modified like that one okay so it will help you to match uh, with your co website color scheme uh, and the dashboard will look uh, more into your website okay the next is the dash dashboard tiles like uh, we have dashboard tile by default these are the blue one and if you want to change these tiles color you can also change from these dashboard tiles so whatever uh, color selecting here that will be displayed it could be a single color option or you can also select different different color option for each individual tile it's completely your call how exactly you are planning to display them okay i'm just uh, made the changes for the couple of them to demonstrate so if you are reloading the page so these uh, can look a little bit more vibrant here okay next for the dashboard menus like uh, suppose that you feel like uh, these menus are a little bit excessive and if you want to hide for these menus for any specific user roles uh, you can also have a full control on that one like uh, we have uh, three primary groups administrator uh, group leader instructor student and student is considered anyone who is not administrator group leader or instructor so it could be any role and based on these options you can enable and disable these options like what exactly um, you are going to display them and uh, based on these uh, selections you can display like right now course activity course course my announcement are displayed uh, not displayed for the administrator because these are the student progress or student engagement uh, point of activities like i'm an administrator i'm an instructor i can also buy uh, a course from a different administrator uh, instructor then i can enable these menus for the instructor okay for the course management we have courses certificate creation lesson creation assignment creation topic creation announcement creation you can enable which is not required from your end so suppose that if you want do not want your instructor or the group leader can create the announcement you can disable these options similar for the reports we have a couple of report on the dashboard uh, first one is uh, essay report quiz report assignment report submitted essay essay so if you are going to the essay report uh, you just have to select the course and based on the course selection you are you can also grade them from the front end like which is graded it is called displayed as a graded and if you still have to approve something from the front end you can approve it from here also and to check what exactly they have submitted here you have just have to click on the read more option and then uh, you can find what exactly they have submitted here okay and uh, similar thing is for the assignment report when someone is uploading an assignment as an instructor you can check them all the assignment uploaded uh, view here and if you are clicking on that particular assignment then uh, that assignment which is uploaded that can be opened here directly okay so you can check all the assignment as an instructor or an admin or a group leader and uh, based on that one you can also give grant them point or approve them this is up approved we have a action option here in the on the front end so they do not have to go to the back end to approve any assignment or grading for any essay similar for the quiz report so for any uh, course you just have to uh, these course data will be displayed based on which role it is available there so suppose that i'm an administrator so all the 
courses what we have created here they will be automatically displayed here okay so uh, when you are an instructor it will display only those courses which are uh, created by that particular instructor similar for the group leader if you are part of that particular courses as a group leader then only those courses will be displayed for you the next is the quiz attempt for the quiz attempt you can have a complete summary how many quiz attempt a particular student has made for those quizzes so they can have a complete log for all the quiz attempt they have made and you can also check uh, their statistics or what exactly they have submitted on those individual quizzes from the front end okay and uh, next is the submitted essay okay so all the essay titles what they had submitted here they will be displayed on the top and you can also grade them from here assign point and approve them okay next is the course activity based on each individual student what exactly they are doing they are completing a lesson they are uh, doing or completing a topic uh, completing a quiz something like that one all the activities will be logged here and based on what role you are you can check all the activity log for your student uh, the next is uh, in the dashboard setting these are for the reports so uh, based on these usability of these options you can check all these functionalities and you can control which menu should be displayed for administrator group leader or instructor uh, next is the student activity so if you want to disable the complete course activity for everyone you can also disable it or if you want to display it for a specific user role like only student can display uh, can have a log of their activities you can also keep that for the student only next is the field restrictions like uh, we have course creation functionality we have lesson creation functionality we had tried to pull all the meta values from the lesson courses and topics to the front end along with the quizzes so if you do not want to uh, display or use a specific option you can disable it from here um, by default I will suggest you do not have to make any changes here uh, it is just for the advanced user so they can control and display only those fields which are required for their instructors for the course creation so field restriction are more specific to what are the forms field available for instructor when they are going to create their courses okay next is the instructor list for the instructor list we are displaying all the instructor here uh, like uh, suppose that someone is applied as an instructor they are included as a pending instructor you can add them from the front end or you can add them from here also you just have to fill the form and then that instructor will be created by default when someone is applying from the front end as an instructor they are logged as a pending instructor and admin has to approve them when someone is going to apply as an instructor the email will automatically notify through the site admin then someone has applied then uh, administrator can approve those uh, instructor and instructor will also be notified like uh, admin has approved their permission okay next is the monetization for the instructor for the monetization like uh, you can also set uh, how much uh, commission they will get when someone is selling their courses using woocommerce or landash itself so this is going to track all the selling part from for the landash like if they are using stripe or the paypal from the landash inbuilt functionality it is also going to track them along with <coughs> if they are selling from the woocommerce part then it is also going to take a record of all the sales made by the woocommerce add-on plugin and it will create a complete log for those things okay for the fees restriction sometimes um, payment gateway also take some additional two or three percent char charges you can also keep uh, deduct it as a uh, fees reduction for the standard payment gateway so suppose that if you want to cut a 10 percent just for the management point of view then you can also deduct that fees as a payment charges or the management charges okay and for the withdraw point of view we had uh, the three withdraw options like they can request for a bank transfer e-check or the people so all the withdrawal uh, request will be made and admin has to approve them monthly basis by monthly basis like that one there's no automatic payout here like uh, admin has to pay them manually every month okay next is the uh, commission report when someone is making a sale all the records will be modified here you can export them as a csv based on how many orders we have got as uh, for each individual instructor so you have a 
instructor based log plus all instructor based log okay the next is the zoom meeting okay for the zoom meeting we have uh, two functionalities like uh, we have uh, a setup where instructor can create their own meeting and you can offer them to use the admin email id or admin api keys to create those zoom meeting along with you can also allow instructor to add their own zoom api keys so they can schedule their own meeting they can manage their own recording like that so we have both functionalities where admin can give or offer their api keys to used by all instructor or instructor can create their own um, api keys and use them from the front end so they do not have to come here like this is api setting for the back end options when admin is going to create them uh, we have a front end option for the all instructor and they can also use their um, api keys okay and for the email log when the system is sending any email to anyone it is going to create a log uh, based on like uh, when we are going to send a mass mail or instructor is going to send a mail it will create a complete log for all those act actions performed by instructor so we can also check how many emails a uh, instructor has used so far okay these are the basic instructions guide for what are the options you have in the back end and how you are going to use them now uh, we can check the front end action how the dashboard is going to perform first is the dashboard tile it is just for the summary of all the things what we have for the reporting point of view for the earning point of view okay and as i explained earlier like uh, you can hide any of these widgets which uh, you do not like these are the useful for your site specific okay next is the course creation functionalities like uh, how you are going to manage your courses and how you can edit them okay so for the course point of view when we have created any course you can modify their title modify their content you can also set a featured image for them for the builder options all the courses uh, lessons will be assigned here and you can also include lock lesson uh, topics and the quizzes from the front end and create them as a skeleton here using the same functionality what we have in the back end for the second point of view, uh, setting point of view, we have options like they can add the course material, they can select the course certificate if we have created any one, okay, and uh, the course access mode like it is a closed course, and they can also link to the WooCommerce part, and for the video for the for the lesson specific editing, so suppose that I am going to the video and going to edit a particular lesson, edit. So for the lesson specific, um, we have a description part where you can display the lesson content and for the video setting, like you can include a YouTube video in the video progression or any embed video like here. And we try to bring all the options what we have in the back end to the front end like this one. So instructor actually do not, do not have to go back to create any of um, the features what you have to manage your course.